Cruella is the latest film by Disney to get the uh, live action touch. It stars uh, Emma Stone in the iconic uh, supervillain of the Disney era as the fashion designer from the 101 uh, Dalmatians cartoons. Uh, Emma Stone who plays Cruella or Stella as she's known in this for most of the film. Uh, we see her upbringing, it's more of an origin film of uh, Cruella's upbringing from a child to adulthood where she bumps into uh, a fashion uh, rival in the form of uh, Emma Thompson and they both go at it. As the film goes on there's more to it between them two than they let on. Also we have Mark Stone in the film uh, who plays uh, Emma Thompson's uh, sidekick or butler. He's not much in this but when he's in it he's, he's pretty good. Though I will have to admit when I saw the uh, trailers for this film, I wasn't very enthusiastic about it. I thought, oh, there we go, another live-action film from Disney. But uh, I left my expectations at the door. My expectations at the door. I went in and watched the film. And to be honest, I was taken aback. As I've always said, you never judge a film by the trailer. This film is great. I absolutely loved it. It's probably one of my, it's probably on number three on my list of the uh, live action Disney films of my favourite. Uh, Emma Stone is a fab fabulous in this role as the uh, Cruella. Uh, she plays it fabulous and she, brilliant performance by her. And obviously a brilliant performance by Emma Thompson as well. Uh, I can safely say if uh, uh, if the, it was the award seasons and the Oscars, I wouldn't argue if Emma Stone got a nomination for it. I wouldn't even not be surprised if she won Best Actress for this. Uh, the visuals were brilliant. How they turned into turned London into the 1970s version of the place, of this iconic city of London. Uh, like I said, Mark Stone's in this, and unfortunately we don't see a lot of them, uh, which is not too bad. The story is easy to follow. Uh, the pacing's just right. Uh, there's a little bit in it where you may have been able to just shorten it down slightly, but. For me, it didn't take you out of the film. The film was easy to, perfectly able to understand. Like I said, this is a bit of an origins film. We start off as uh, Cruella as a child, but her name is Stella. And as she grows up through the rankings, through her age, we find out she goes on an adventure. You see how she gets to London and becomes a fashion icon person that she is in the uh, 101 Dalmatians. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, Emma Stone is fabulous in this. Uh, I think she portrays the character as Cruella de Vil very perfectly. She does a good job. Uh, I love her in this film. I think she's a smart actress. Uh, it must have been quite hard for her to do because we've had other people play this character before. We've had Glenn Close playing playing it. And then, yeah, uh, it's well worth a watch. Like I said, there was a rather big surprise for me. When I saw the trailer, I thought the trailer was pretty dull. Uh, I wasn't very enthusiastic to go and see this film, but obviously uh, I decided to go and watch it and see for myself. As we all say, never judge a film by the trailer. Some movies give you good trailers and turn out to be boring or a load of crap. 
Some trailers can be boring and the film can be rather good to watch. And outstanding. Again, I can't praise uh, Emma Stone highly enough for this film. Uh, well, she's one of my favourite actresses. I think she's a very pretty young lady <laughs> ever since the Spider-Man films. Uh, so yeah, uh, have you guys had a chance to watch Cruella yet? If you have, please let me know your thoughts. Leave your comments in the comment below. below. Let me know if you've had a chance to see it yet. If not, I would recommend it. Uh, I would say it's not that it's okay for kids. I thought it might have been a bit dark for kids, but it's not. Uh, I think lower than maybe 12 year olds and upwards might be fine with it i don't think it's suitable for really young kids uh because of there's some dark humor in it i believe uh not suitable for it's not like the cartoon where you can shove really young kids in front of it uh there are some dark moments in it uh you know, uh, I'm not going to go into any spoilers, but some bits that might upset some young kids. Uh, but yeah, that's my review of Cruella from Disney. Like I said, it's my third favourite of the new uh, uh, films by Disney. The... Uh, live action films should i say so yeah please leave your comments in the comment box below let us know your thoughts hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and until next time i'll see you all again soon goodbye for now